Hello my lovely ladies, welcome back to a new video. I have quite the story for you ladies today. It is about one of the worst, no it's not one of the worst, it is the worst experience I've ever had in a luxury fashion boutique and I know you ladies love my story time videos so I'm coming here for you ladies today with one of the worst things I've experienced and it was one of the root I've never I think and I don't know what the meaning behind this rudeness was still don't get it but you will understand later on why I still don't get it but it happened to me in Chanel in Paris which is another very strange thing I would never expect this type of behavior in France in Paris because usually French people are very very nice I come from Belgium in Belgium they're a little bit different uh, even though they try to be nice, they're just not as nice as French people. So I would have actually thought that if something would happen like this, which I would never even imagine, it would happen in Belgium, not in France, because usually they're very sweet, the people that work there. But in this case, I have had maybe the, one of the craziest sales advisor experiences that maybe people have encountered because it's so strange. It's so strange. But yeah let me get into details so it has happened a long time ago even before i bought my chanel bag that was very faulty i've had a complete video about it the customer service experience was horrible and after these experiences i never really bought anything else from chanel anymore but this one was even before I got the bags. And the bags really made me just totally pull off Chanel. But this one, I was just thinking like it was a horrible experience, but it's just because of the sales advisor. I'm not dragging down the brand whatsoever or holding them accountable. It's just the wrong person that was working for them and I have never seen her working there again and I've been quite a few times in that store and I've never seen her again so maybe other people have complained about her because never seen this lady anymore but what happened was I was looking for a bag and I also wanted to try on some outfits and it was the first time that I was ever going to try out luxury fashion boutique fashion outfits because they're very expensive usually I would always look at accessories scarves bags shoes so I went to the store and she greeted me very nicely so it's the lady who was very rude she greeted me very nicely and she even offered me champagne I don't drink alcohol so I refused it but she like she greeted me very nicely and I told her like I want I'm looking for a bag and I'm also looking for a nice outfit matching or not but I want a nice summer outfit to maybe go on a yacht and put on top of a bikini I want those types of outfits and she said yeah no problem let's go look for it so up until that moment it was a great experience she was so nice so kind until we walked into that special room you can just sit there and drink your drinks and they show you different outfits um, or you can walk with them and choose outfits yourself i showed her my ideas my color palettes um, we already had a bag in mind that i really wanted and we were also trying to match the outfits with the bag so until that no problem but then when i showed her an outfit that i really liked she told me oh no we only have that one in extra small and small so I know because these is sold I really know I don't even have to look in the stock this one we don't have in the back only extra small and small and I looked at her and I said well yeah those are my sizes extra small and small and then she looked me up and down she said no darling I don't think so and that is where this whole weird thing started because I'm going to stand up later so you can see but I'm extra small small is my size so she looked me up and down and she said no darling I don't think that's your size don't even bother trying it on so she didn't even let me try it on it was really like that so I'm a person who's very patient I'm always smiling even though I don't agree at all with what the person that is talking to me is saying 
I'm always polite. Like I can keep up with the lot until it reaches to a certain level and then I turn into a totally different person. So I was just being polite, nice, and I was thinking, well, she probably knows her job. I was just thinking in the back of my mind, maybe these sizes really run small and maybe for that particular model, an extra small and small are extra, extra, extra small, like runway model sizes. I don't know, because I'm not a runway model size, but small, extra small is my size. So we were looking at other outfits and then she grabbed like this wide fitting type of polo shirt and it wasn't extra small but that particular top because it was extra wide it was like a slouchy type of model that would literally even fit someone with a size medium or even large if the chest isn't too big that is how wide it was she looked at the sizing she said oh no this is small but i know that we have other sizes in the back so i will be right back and I was just standing there, like, what? I mean, this oversized thing is is even bit too big for me. What, what is she talking about? She was already gone. She didn't even try to talk to me or hear me out. She just, she already was in the back. And I was just standing there. So I just kept looking at the other pieces. I have a very high self-esteem, by the way. So people making comments on looks or weights or anything I really don't care like so I have very high self-esteem so even after this whole situation I don't know if that was what she wanted to do um, the only thing was that the experience I felt was very rude and she was rude but I didn't feel bad about myself at all I really like myself okay I can say that so I was looking at other things um, and I liked a lot of other things that she didn't show me yet and I just grabbed them. I looked at the sizing, some of the items were my size and some items were. So she came back and I told her, oh, I like this one as well. This is already my size. I want to try on this, 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 but this one is a medium and I need a small. And she came back with clothes that I liked in a size medium and large and I told her well that's not my size she said darling I have worked here for over so many years she said a number I forgot so believe me I can tell just by looking you're not a small darling so not even extra small which I maybe would understand but you're not a small darling but I thought, well, you know, maybe she knows. Maybe there's this this store I've never tried on Chanel clothes before. So maybe it's their clothing. Maybe in France, a small is really size zero or something. No idea. I really was thinking something like that. <laughs> so I went into the changing room and she gave me a pair of shorts, some tops, matching sets and everything was just too big. So I was trying it on. I showed her like, hey, this skirt, as you can see, it's very big. And she said, yeah, maybe on your waist, it's a little, it was literally sagging. Like I had to hold the skirt so it wouldn't just fall on the ground. And she was telling me, oh, but your hips are really wide. So it fits right there. It's just your waist. So hmm, it's even too tight around your hips. And I was just holding the skirt like, well, well, it's not. Yeah, it's like your shape is like this. That is really what she said. I started to get very frustrated, not offended because I know what I look like and I have, like I said, high self-esteem, but the way she was talking to me, I was not liking that. So I'm not like a size zero, but I'm not a medium either. And this was even years ago, I think before I had my daughter, so I was even skinnier back then. And she told me, no, it it's, doesn't work, like small would never fit you. I told her, well, I would really like to try on the small. And she really did this. She grabbed the medium and there was like this special door that you can open and just tuck the things out and she smashed the door in my face. And I was standing there with the rest of my clothes, not knowing if I wanted to try those things on because I really wanted to buy a matching set. And I really was there also for the experience because you know, sometimes when you like a bag, it's just difficult to, even back then, you can't just get it somewhere else. It's, 
if someone else buys it, it's just gone, especially the seasonal items. So I was just thinking about the whole experience and I was still making up excuses for this lady. She's maybe having a rough day, she's not having it, maybe her boss did something and she just wants to go home. I don't know what it was. She came back with the small uh, skirts and she just had like this grind on her face looking at me when I opened the door back up and looking like well darling you don't 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 even try I mean really it's just it's not going to fit and I told her well I have all these other things can I have small she told me no it's not in stock okay I just got you this so you can understand that it doesn't work it doesn't fit you but the other things I mean I'm not going to get all these items and then you are not going to fit in them anyway it's too much work dragging all these clothes and folding them back up and putting them back it's no darling it's not going to work and then she closed the door so I tried on the skirt it was perfect so I was a size small and I actually because I love skirts to be right really tight you know nicely tight in the waist because the small fitted but it wasn't tight so it was just around my waist but not really holding so there was a little bit of space left yet and so I opened the door back up and she was nowhere to be seen I grabbed something else just threw it on and I walked around a little bit until I saw someone else and I told her like hey I have this skirt that I'm trying on the size small it fits but I would like to try it in an extra small as well to compare both of these items and the lady just went back and uh, after five minutes she was back with the, that skirt in a size extra small and while she was giving that skirt to me she was like walking towards me I have it showing me the skirt the other lady that was very rude she saw that and she came almost running up like she was really walking fast like what are you doing what is it she already tried on that skirt i already brought her the small and i told her no no it's not the small it's the extra small and she literally i was almost Go, going to grab that extra small skirt she like grabbed it almost out of my hands and out of that lady's hands even the lady was like what's happening and she told her no 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 this is not going to fit darling the small is not going to fit how is this one going to fit you just she's going to need to you go and help other customers we have other customers in these stores as well you know you can't just walk around and ask everyone to grab you extra small you know maybe you should just go diet uh, we have a lot of fashion week models here and you know they fit in this but you maybe you should you know diet and work out more and she was really giving me these tips but in a very nice way she wasn't shouting she wasn't insult she was insulting me but she she was doing it in this very malicious way like snaky way that and i'm the total opposite of these people i get really angry and frustrated when i would deal with people like that because i'm very direct like i'm nice 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 and then when i'm angry i just confront people directly shout you know insult them fight I don't know and she was just being passive aggressive with me which I cannot deal with I'm aggressive or not I'm not passive aggressive that's not the type of person I ha am so when I get confronted with people like that they misinterpret my niceness for someone who's just letting everyone walk all over her while it's just me waiting for it to get to a certain point and then I turn into this crazy lady and it was getting there I was still being nice but you could tell by the look on my face that I wasn't having it and I told her what do you mean excuse me and she was really giving me like these tips and I drink this every morning with a drop of this and just you know I don't have cake or chocolate I don't know you where you're from but you know your skin is a little bit uh, tanned so you're definitely not from here also that insult I got I was just done I couldn't take it anymore it was getting very high up there and I just I knew that if I was going to wait any longer I would turn into this crazy raging person that would like maybe throw all the clothes and everything on the floor so I was just okay I'm just going to let that 
cooking anger that is inside of me just come out because if I'm going to wait any longer, it's going to turn very ugly. So, so the only thing I did was, I, like, I'm the type of person, I just went to the changing room and grabbed that skirt also out of her hand, took everything, like all the hangers, all the thing, I threw it in the middle of the room where you can like sit with sofas. And then I also, <laughs> I had a glass of water, so, I'm very happy it was water. I just threw it on top of the clothes and I just walked out. I just, I walked out. Like I cannot deal with confrontation. I'm very aggressive sometimes. So if I get confronted, it can go bad very, like if she, if I would have waited and start discussing things with her, I would have maybe slapped her in the face. So I was just like, I don't need any confrontation. I cannot deal with this. This is my anger coming out. Be happy that I just threw water. Like it was a little bit, it will dry. I was angry <laughs> and I walked right out of the store. They didn't run behind me. They didn't say, Madame, Madame. Um, I was thinking like maybe they would walk to the security guard, you know, on the doors and maybe tell him to close the doors and not let me out. But it didn't do that. So I think maybe she knew that she was in the wrong. So she just stand there like, <sighs> that's how they were standing. That other lady didn't really see the insult that I gotten from her the past hour. So she, I think she just, I don't know how they saw me as a crazy customer that just throws clothes in on the floor and puts water on top, I don't know. But the other people that worked there didn't see what I had to her for the next, like I was an hour in there. I'm telling you this story in a very like short time frame, but I really spent a long time trying on these clothes. It has been years since this happened. Uh, I went back into the stores many times, but I've never seen her. Um, but I still don't know what the motive and that anger of her, what, what, what she was, what, what it was, why? Why would you be so rude to a customer who comes into your store to buy stuff from you if your customer knows their size, and even if your customer, if you think like, wow, this person is definitely not that size. It's the, if the customer is convinced that he or she is a certain size, let them try on that size. They will figure it out by themselves if it is too big or too small. I don't know. And just telling someone who's clearly a size small, extra small, that they are a medium or a large even. I have nothing against me being medium or large, but the way that she talked to me in the store, I can only imagine how she would be talking to other people that are a size medium. What would she be telling them that their size extra, extra large? I wouldn't be surprised. So I think, I really think that like maybe if I would have been a size medium that she would have told me that they had no, none of my sizing in store because they don't carry extra, extra, extra large. Like she was strange and yeah, she was very thin. She was extremely thin. She was definitely a size zero. So she was an older lady, which also made me very trying to hold my anger because I usually, like, if she was younger with older ladies, I'm always like, okay, they're older. I'm trying to be more respectful. But I also think, like, you are so much older. You also need to be so much wiser, but you're not. So she was very skinny. Like, she was size zero skinny in that sense. So, yeah, maybe because of that, she really thinks that someone who is just a healthy, extra small or small she sees them as fat, apparently, but I think it was just the weirdest experience. I've never had those types of experience ever. Like I've never been called fat in my life, definitely not by a sales advisor. So it has been quite an experience, but yeah, I really wanted to share this experience with you ladies today. Nothing against Chanel aside from the quality and customer service, but usually the sales advisors themselves are very, very nice. But this one was just a crazy one. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will be seeing you ladies in my next video. Bye.